What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We are back with another fire review. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a review on the Micro Mary MX1. We're gonna be doing the one on the clay indigo and the all black pair with the other patches. So yeah, um, I know it's been a while since I posted the video. Um, I've been kind of like like going through like a lot of stuff, like you no know, different type of stuff, because I'm starting to get into trucking and trying to get my CDLs and stuff. So I kind of had to put YouTube to the side for a little bit because I got to like save up for for school and everything. But as I'm like in the midst of all that, I'm gonna still try to upload videos. I think I am gonna try to upload another um another what you call it. I think I am gonna try to upload another recent pickups because my last video did it, it did solid for for what I, I thought it was gonna like not do as good because like, I don't know, cause I'm not really up there yet. But yeah, um, before we get into this, uh, this review, make sure we like, share, and subscribe. And um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get into this review. All right, so first, the first pair we're gonna start off with, um, these, these are the clay indigos. We're gonna start off with these first. Um, I got these from Satire for like, eight something things like 860 they had like a little sale on them um i had already wore these like the other day for thanksgiving and um honestly though i don't really like the way these like kind of fit like these don't when i show y'all the review when i show y'all the review and everything y'all gonna see like these fit totally different from the black pair the black pair is the pair like how i thought these would fit that's like the perfect fit for me um as y'all know in my last video I bought um I bought them in a size 31, but I bought both of these in a size 30. Um and yeah, honestly I like the size 30 better than size 31 because size 31 was a little too big and I kind of had to pull them, I had to keep pulling them up. So yeah, like anybody that wear like that is interested in buying the Mary's, which is obviously why you're watching this video. But yeah, um make sure you just go to the size, whatever is your true to size and your um and your regular jeans, just go with these. Don't don't think about sizing up, sizing down because you might make a mistake sizing down. These are gonna be too tight because these are already pretty tight. Sizing up, you can size up if you want a looser fit, but if you want a true size fit, make sure you stick to your true size. But yeah, um, let me show you all the tags and everything. Go to the back of the tag. It says Amiri on the back. And then it goes the other tag inside of the jeans. It says a million size 30 which you'll show your size and then it came with fly buttons i think most of Mary's come with fly buttons i don't know if it's just my size because i know a lot of size 30s come in um they come in like fly buttons and then you got some of these rips right here you got a couple you got a few distressing on this side a couple of distress looks on this side and then right here you have the leather patching okay you got a leather patching with the distress, like with the little distress look. And then as you go down, it's like stacked. It's like it's like a little a little crinkled, um, crinkled and stacked look. So like I guess whenever you wear them, they can sit right. And then on this side, you have it's kind of like the other side, but you have the, the like little distressing with the leather patches, and then some more distressing right here. And then you have the knee, the blowout. Not the blowout knee, but where the knee goes. This is like the the leather part with the little distress. And honestly, I love how these, I do, even though um, I say I don't like how they fit, I do love how they feel. They are comfortable jeans. Um, I'm a, but I'm gonna like tell y'all about how they, how the black ones felt to compare it to these. Cause boy, them black ones, after a while, bro, like your circulation when they get cut off because them joints is tight. I don't even want to you, but them all black jeans is always tight for me. Like, any like, I don't know. You might I'm not even gonna lie on them black ones, you might have to size up. Tell you how how good my community stitching is, bro. You don't see no loose threads at all. Like, they stitching be tight and nice. Like, that you can tell they take their time with this, they don't just throw the stitching on there and, and call it a day. Here goes the other part of the knee. The nice stitching, but the stitching is crazy on these jeans. There goes the the top of the, the top part, stitching everything. You don't know, like, bro. Y'all have yet. Y'all don't see no type of like loose threads on these joints. They is all tight threads. All right, so here goes the all black pair with the leather patches. Um, these right here, 
these joints is tight, bro. Like, oh my god, like after a while, like I love how they fit and I look and I love how they look because they give you that that nice slim look. But bro, after a while, when you've been wearing these, you're gonna be so ready to take these off. Like they're so like I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty tight. Like these, like I never had no jeans way tighter than these, and it's crazy. Like usually I can wear jeans for a little long time. But I had these on all day yesterday when I went Black Friday shopping. Oh my god, bro. By like 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, I was ready to take these joints off because they were starting to like just get it felt like they kept it felt like the longer I had them on, the tighter they was getting, bro. Like it was crazy. But yeah, as you can see, on these is also come with uh, silver fly buttons. And then it goes the Mike and Mary tag. Size 30. It goes the back of the tag, which also says a Miri. And then here goes the chrome label. Hope y'all can see that. It says a Miri. And here goes some of the, let me show y'all the, the distressing on these jeans. It goes a little bit of distress. I don't know if y'all can see that because they so, these are so black. Like they're so dark. They're so dark, bro. Like it's like, these are like a jet black, bro. Then here goes the top, top of the distress. And these are also leather patches leather biker uh, badges. And then, oh, let me show y'all, bro, because I peeped this yesterday when I was uh, looking at these. The stitching on the outside is crazy. I don't know if y'all can see in between that, but the stitching is crazy, like, like crazy good on these. That's, bro, I don't know. I don't see how any rep sites would be able to even like, like duplicate, duplicate, duplicate this because like, you just, you, I don't know. It's too good. It's, the stitching is way too good. It's crazy, man. And then, y'all, you can't even see like the strap, the, the stitching on the inside. I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, that was um, that was pretty much it for the review. Um, so yeah, I did get these from Satire. For uh, I got both of them for about eight something. Got both in the size 30. I went with my shooter size. My shooter size is a size 30, so I did took my shooter size. Everybody always in the comments down below asking me what size should I get, what size should I get? And I said, and I be saying in my videos, true to size, I say go size up. I always say what you should do. And I even put like timestamps in my videos and people still asking me like, like what, what size should they get and stuff. It's no problem, I have no problem helping people out, but bro, it's like, pay attention, you feel me? It's like the videos, right? Like I'll post these videos to, to help y'all and put information out and hopefully, um, miss some key things that some people might have, might have missed in their videos you feel me but yeah honestly do i think they're worth the price i mean they are like they are kind of overpriced but if you feel like if you got the bread to buy them i mean i would say get them i mean why not i mean ain't ain't too many it ain't it ain't really that many jeans out here that that look as good and and for men first like like the part about getting jeans is so hard to get like find some really nice jeans like it's either gonna be a hit or miss like trust me i didn't bought hella jeans that i don't even wear like i didn't bought them for like 120 and up and like that they, they came in the mail they was either they just didn't look right or the design was just off and i didn't i never wore them so yeah um if you got the money to get them uh i would say i would say get them but if you can get these on sale which I always try to go for. I never try to pay like retail price, which is like a thousand. Like retail, like, cause it's like a thousand, and it's like a thousand, and then it's like after tax, it's like um, eleven hundred. So yeah, I never, I never try to pay that. I always try to pay a little bit under, or if I, if I can even find like uh, a pair on grilled or something, I try to go down. I try to uh, go on grilled and negotiate with the person and try to. You know, um, get a little cheaper price, get a little deal on them. I always try, always try to find ways to get stuff like for a deal. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that review. That was just a quick little review. Um, I'm gonna try to push out more videos. I'm trying to push out more sneaker reviews because I, I love doing sneaker reviews with y'all. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for that video. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. If y'all need some help with anything, feel free to comment down below. Like I don't care. Um, show love if you don't got if you don't if you not um comment down below so for help just show, show some love and subscribe and everything so yeah that's pretty much it for this review and i catch y'all in the next video <laughs>